Besides Nashawk, I'm not really sure if anybody else has made video about this, but I'm gonna hop in on the bandwagon because I've been holding back since Saturday when the truck race got postponed because of rain. And that's pretty much the topic of this video. What's going on, E Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another episode of Racing Topics with Ian Perez. This is the 44th episode, and today I'm going to be talking about um the bristol spring races and why they should not race at bristol in the springtime and this has been a problem since 2014. in 2014 um we had a few laps into the race and unfortunately it was delayed due to rain it was so long it got to the point that the race had to be shown at fox sports one and I think the race was back on at 7 or 8 p.m. that night. I'm not really sure. Probably 7 or 6.30. I don't know. And in 2015, same deal. And I think it took like, what, 25 laps to get into the race. I know Kazaski and Logano wrecked their line of going. And then the, the red flag happened once again. Once again, just like 2014, the, day, the delay was so long. Um... It got to Fox Sports 1 once again. At that time, when I was going through some personal issues, I did not have Fox Sports 1. So I could not see the rest of the race. 2016, no problem. It was a bright, beautiful day. Sunshine, I don't know if there was clouds in the sky, but it was a beautiful day. And 2017, it was postponed. And the race happened on Monday. 2018 the race took place uh, we were almost halfway to that race and unfortunately the race continued on Monday and in 2019 no rain but it was a cloudy day and 2020 uh, during COVID of course we did the spring race on iRacing and then the real life sp spring race took place late May and early June for Cup and Xfinity beautiful day and in 2021, this past weekend, Friday during practice, great weather, Saturday, rain happened, postponed, Sunday, rain, flood, postponed, and on Monday, the weather's perfect. So I know what you guys, I know what some of you guys are thinking, just get to the point, I know. Um, the point I see is that these past seven years, it's been problematic when it comes to weather. I know it's not NASCAR's fault. They can't control the weather. So for the people who are blaming on NASCAR for this, just stop. Y'all y'all are looking at like a bunch of idiots because they got nothing to do with the weather. What the hell can they do? They can't do anything about it. So I do have a suggestion though. What if we took if NASCAR wants to keep the the first Bristol races um why don't we move it somewhere else if you ask me when I mentioned 2020 the weather was great why can't we move um the weather I mean not the weather the race the first Bristol races to like at the end of spring early summer something like that because I heard that the weather is not as bad in Tennessee. So if that's really the case, I would suggest move Bristol, move the first Bristol race and move it like at the late spring and early summer. If you ask me, somewhere around June. And I think that will kind of be a problem solver. But what if it rains over there in at June? I don't know. All I can hope is that it's not really going to be like spring. That's what I'm... It's just an example. Like, imagine though. I think it'll be interesting. Anyone else tired of those Bristol rain delays? Same here. So, there's a the solution. Move the first Bristol race to somewhere else. And honestly... And I heard like someone mention about like swapping a race. I don't remember... Who? I think it was the Iceberg. I don't remember. Somebody else. I don't remember. But like. 
Somebody mentioned that uh, have the Bristol race and Sonoma race swapped. For Bristol being, we wouldn't really have other problems. For Sonoma being, I want to see some racing with green grass. Is anyone else seeing racing with dead grass? I know that's kind of off topic, but that's pretty much a solution to the problems of the of the first Bristol races. Um, yeah, I know this video was kind of pointless to some people, but I just want to get that through my head. I just want to like get it out of my chest. Let's move the 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 first Bristol races elsewhere. Unfortunately, next year when they're doing the dirt. They're moving, they're keeping the spring date, and I'm like, what are you doing? That, did you guys not learn anything from the past weekend? I get it, the weather's unpredictable. We don't know how the weather is next year's Bristol Dirt Race, but like, if it does happen again, they're just shooting themselves. And it's not their fault about the weather, but it's just like, move the first Bristol Race to somewhere else, okay? On a different date, all right? That's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Should they keep it or should they move it somewhere else? What do you guys think? And this is if they want to keep the first Bristol races in the future. All right, whether it's dirt or not, whatever. So with that being said, I just want to do a quick video about it. Finally, a short video, yay. Anyway, with that being said, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social account in the link in the description below. Uh, shout out to a Redditor on NASCAR for the thumbnail. I got it, I, I asked uh, a person from Blue Jimmy 48s Discord server, if I can have that thumbnail. He asked the Redditor, the original owner of the picture. He said, yes, I'm like, all right. So shout out to both of them. So don't forget to turn on my YouTube notifications for more content. Um, thank you so much for supporting E-Nation this is the Impress 48 signing off and feel free to tell me what you guys think. Have a good one.